Welcome back to I Cave Diaries. I have another episode for you guys. Of course, I retired from playing football. You guys saw my last game in Costa Rica. But today's video, I'm actually taking you guys on a tour of Riddell's testing facility. So they invited me down to the headquarters. You know, I live about half an hour away from them. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at what's inside their headquarters, their testing facilities, and then also give you guys a sneak peek at something I'm working on with Dick's Sporting Goods. the first removable football cleat. So that was that was how he started out in the, uh, the, the football equipment business. Uh, but because, and it was sort of a necessity being the mother of invention thing, he was in the same town as Northwestern. Uh, in those days, if you had to change your cleats on your football boots for playing in different playing conditions, you had to take it to the cobbler to have it done. And there was one cobbler in Evanston, and Northwestern got all of that cobbler's attention when the time came to uh, to change cleats. So he found a way that he could do it himself. And he better be screw in removable football cleats. And there's a big one there you can see right behind. And for making it slightly bigger was kind of what it took to, to get the, uh, the impact attenuated material into place so with the size of the, of the head and face. So, you know, it, seemingly minor changes to the helmet, but it, uh, it led to pretty significant impact performance changes, especially in those areas. You know, we developed a whole testing protocol and some testing devices that will show you down. There's basically an anvil with a thin rubber pad on it. You change that pad out for what test you're doing. So for this test there, there's a little bit thicker pad than you would use for a base guard test. Once you're doing an axis certification for base guard test, there's a specific thickness for that. So you drop it, so you change that pad out, and you'll drop it straight down on that face first. And make sure that everything stays together, doesn't bend, doesn't contact the face, anything like that. Yes, it's a linear impact test, so it's basically a hydraulic ram that simulates one helmet hitting another. Um, as you can see on the end of the ram, there's a semi-sphere which mimics the shape of the helmet shell. You can change the pressure that that shoots at, so you can change how fast that ram is flying at the helmet. So you can do anything from a low impact to high severity NFL, 9 meter per second. 
that <laughs> 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 all the points yes. <laughs> we got that. Perfect. You got options. Thanks. Appreciate ya. Um, and then yeah, like when you when you can try to repeat the answer, or the question in your answer, like for example, um, like how does safety play a role in the game? Like, safety is really important in the game, and it's blah blah blah. Because the question's for you. Yeah, exactly. We'll just kind of cut in and out of the topic. Who are you and what do you do? So my name is Matt Adigia. I run I Know Football, the YouTube channel. Well, can you talk a little bit about what the channel has, what we feature sure. the channel? So I run the IKF channel, I Know Football, and that channel is focused on innovation in football, as well as uh, you know just the cool things coming out. So what's new in the football community, what's going to help uh, you know my viewers really understand the game better and perform at their highest level. Cool, can you talk about your involvement with the sport of football? Sure, so my involvement with the sport of football, let me start over, I need to stop. Like, yeah, you don't sure. have to say, you can say right. like I've been involved with football for however right. many years, yeah. So I first started playing football in high school, at the high school level, that's my first time playing, you know, uh, with pads uh, at all. Uh, but since then I actually have been playing arena football, I played for two years in Chicago uh, for both the Knights and the Vipers, and then I started my um, semi-pro football career. So I played with the uh, Layton Lions in the past for about three years, and then most recently, the last two years for the Chicago Mustangs. Equipment is one of the most important aspects of football. Um, not only does it protect you, obviously, uh, but there's something before. So I mean, the game of football starts with with your pregame ritual, you know, getting dressed in the locker room, um, and all that equipment that you're wearing is your your body armor. You know, when you enter into the, the field of war, which is really what football is. Well, what do you think about the? The behind the scenes knowledge and sort of seeing how helmets are tested and like how they're developed, like how does that impact you as a player? What what a perfect helmet feel and look like to you? Things changing kind of like how we talked offline, like equipment, rules. Oh, I think I think we nailed it. Is there anything else you feel like you wanted to talk about in terms of of the game and or helmets specifically? No, if we've well, covered everything that you wanted to, yeah, 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 I'm we're on the same page then. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I think